اومدیم به یه جای سیکه دیگه امروز اومدیم به یکی از شهرهای قدیمی تو جنوب کالیفرنیا تا با یه حال و هوای متفاوت از اینجا با هم دیگه برنامه رو جلو ببریم بعد از گذشت هفت سال از انتشار بازی کامپانی آف هیروز دو سازنداش اعلان کردن که دارن نسخه پی سی شو آپدیت میکنن و قابلیت کراس پلی بهش اضافه میکنن Лев Абрамович Задович. Блядь, сукин сын! I come all the way from Moscow to this remote piss hole and this is how you greet your old commanding officer. What do you want from me, Colonel? I wanted to show you something. Recognize this? What you wrote on these pages could condemn a man several times over. But before that happens, comrade, first I need to know the truth.
واسه طرفدارای بازی های معمایی. اطلاعات جدیدی از بازی شرلاک هومز چپتر وان توسط سازنداش منتشر شد. Hey everybody, my name is Sergey and I'm a part of Frogwares and here's our latest project, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, a story-driven detective thriller that will explore Sherlock's very first case. In this game you will play as the young Holmes. You will see what drove him to come back to this place of his youth and help pave the way. آقای سرگی اوگانسیان مدیر ارتباطات استودیوی فراگور در رابطه با ساختار و مدت زمان گیم پلی بازی شرلاک هومز چپتر 1 اعلام کرد که پنج ماموریت اصلی تو این بازی وجود داره و همه اونا از طریق یه داستان پیوسته به هم متصل میشن. ما همچنین بیشتر از سی فعالیت جانبی تو بازی داریم و بعضی از اونا در واقع به وسعت ماموریت های اصلی هستن. تموم کردن داستان اصلی بازی شرلاک هومز چپتر 1 بین 12 تا 15 ساعت طول میکشه و همچنین در صورتی که بخواید همه فعالیت های اصلی و جانبی رو انجام بدین ممکنه تایمش به 40 تا 50 ساعت برسه. This island is a world of crime, a world of social and economic inequality, where the law is nothing more than pretty big words. The islanders are too eager to take justice into their own hands, with police turning a blind eye for the convenience of the local overlords. This is the perfect school and playground for an aspiring detective like yourself, a place where a legend can be born. While exploring the island, you will investigate some truly bewildering cases. Why does an elephant have to face a trial against a mob of angry people? Or why are these revenge pillars allowed on the island? Each knife stuck in the pillar is a symbol of vengeance being served. And with each passing day, more and more pillars appear in the city. As Sherlock, you will have to find an approach to each social group that's living in their part of the island. Whether you are dealing with the British Empire, the Venetians or the Ottoman descendants, you will have to use your wits, intuition and skills to gain the info and clues that you need to solve the mysteries and cases. We hope that you like this glimpse into the world of Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Our game will be coming in 2021 to both PC and current and next-gen consoles. If you like what we showed you, follow us on our social channels, we will be showing you more info there as we get closer to release. And as a side note, we are now celebrating our 20th birthday, so you can grab our games at a huge discount on PC, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of the show. شور بازی هیتمن 3 معلوم شد که نسخه ایکس باکس سری ایکسش با رزولوشن 4K و نسخه پلی استیشن 5ش با 1800 پی اجرا میشه یعنی رو ایکس باکس بهتر از پلی استیشن All because of one man As you take on the role of Agent 47, his deadly abilities, tools and instincts are at your fingertips. You get to travel the world and kill interesting people. And with complete freedom of approach, making the how, the when, and the where all up to you. 47 can get in anywhere. Sometimes with the aid of a stolen access card, a glean key code, hacking the lock with his new camera, or just using good old-fashioned brute force. And sometimes all you need is an invitation. You can blend in anywhere. Disguises offer you access to corresponding areas, but be careful around enforcers. They will call your disguise if they get a good look. 47's arsenal has never been sharper, from the classics to the state of the art. Of course, almost everything is a weapon in 47's hands. But a creative assassin need never touch a weapon. Surrounding you is a living, breathing world of opportunity. Action, reaction, and cause and effect. From unfortunate accidents to careful exploitation of a bad habit. You can trick someone else into doing the dirty work, or you could simply book a meeting with your target. But it's no walk in the park. You must adapt as circumstances change. Your targets are some of the best protected people in the world. Some of them so elusive, they are only exposed for a limited time. Unlock new tools and weapons in our mastery tracks. 
Refine your approach as you advance across 20 mastery tiers per level with new starting locations, new ICA gear, exotic distractions, and stashed weapons. Receive ratings based on your distinct playstyle and skill level. And keep challenging yourself with a slew of inventive escalations and complications. Master the art of assassination, and nothing can stop you. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. 
Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? Yeah. <laughs> یه تریلر از یکی از شخصیت های بازی دکینگ آف فایترز پونزه منتشر شد. All expectations. Baby Maru Mikaido. Ajmeyo ka? Yare yare. Expectations. طرفدارای نینتندو سویچ بازی ریمستر شده کینگدومز آف امرار بکنی مارچ امسال روی نینتندو سویچ میاد برای بازی سیافتیز کامپانی رر شرکت سازنده سیافتیز یه تریلر از فصل اول بازی منتشر کرد سیافتیز سیزن 1 is here bringing players 3 months of new features events and updates as well as a whole new way to progress and earn rewards as you play the game Revel in living the pirate's life as you progress through 100 levels, unlocking fantastic rewards which are free to all players, including the Frostbite clothing set and Season 1 ship and player cosmetics. There's exclusive rewards for pirate legends too, giving them ample opportunity to flex their legendary status. And for pirates that want to get a little extra for their escapades, you can also purchase the additional Plunder Pass to earn 11 premium items from the Pirate Emporium. This includes the brand new Dark Warsmith weapons and Silver Skull sails, which are exclusive to the Plunder Pass until the end of Season 1. 
This season also launches with an all-new Merchant Alliance Voyage, where you'll have to take on the role of detective and go on the hunt for a fleet of missing trade ships and their lost cargo. Uncover their fate and return the cargo manifest to the Merchant Alliance for gold and reputation. And, if you manage to secure the captain's cabin key, plunder the loot for yourself. Salvage enough of these sunken bounties and you'll earn these rather fetching new Merchant Alliance sales. And alongside that, there's new events too. We're kicking things off with the Champion of Souls event where you'll vanquish skellies and ghost ships to gather their soul fragments and earn these slick Order of Souls weapons. And we'll be bringing you even more events throughout Season 1. And over in the Pirate Emporium, we've got the new Lunar Festival weapon set and new weapon pose emotes, as well as Lunar Festival costumes and the full Lunar Festival ship set. So get ready to experience all new adventures, earn renown, and reap the rewards with Sea of Thieves Season 1. بازی دمیدیوم یه بازی خوش شکل و شمایل تو سبک هورر منتشر شد که یه ویدیوی خفن از سیکه های اول بازی براتون داریم که میریم با هم یه نگاهی بهش بندسیم. استقبال شما از گزارش های ایتری جویسی همچون که قبلا هم اشاره کرده بودیم یه عالم گزارش های پخش نشده داریم که به مرور تو قسمت های مختلف برنامه براتون پخش میکنیم اما امروز تصمیم گرفتیم همون گزارش اصلی جویسی از آخرین مراسم ایتری رو برای کسایی که ندیدم پخش کنیم دیدنش خالی از لطف نیست امروز اومدیم به یکی از قدیمی ترین همایش های گیم تو کل دنیا که به ایتری معروفه به جز سه سال ایتری همیشه تو کانونشن سنتر شهر بزرگ و زیبای لس آنجلس برگزار شد خب اینجا یه جورایی بهشت همه گیمر ها چون خبره که داغ و دست اول اول اینجا میاد بیرون بریم باید چرخ بزنیم چه خبر E3 مخفف سه تا کلمه است. الکترونیک اینترتینمنت اکسپو که معنیش میشه همون نمایشگاه سرگرمی های الکترونیکی. سال اولی که نمایشگاه برگزار شد برمیگره به سال 1995 که سه تا قول این صنعت یعنی سونی و سگا و نینتندو جزء پرزنترهای اصلی این برنامه بودن که اون سال حدود 40 هزار نفر هم تماشاگر داشت که خب آمار خیلی خوبی هم بود. ایتری 2019 رسما با ایونت بوردرلند 3 همین حالا افتتاح شد خب جا 
جالبه بدونید E3 تو ساله 97 و 98 به دلیل مختلف امنیتی تو لس آنجلس برگزار نمیشه بلکه موش میکنن توی آتلانتا ایالت جورجیا دو سال بعدش هم شرکت بزرگ و معروف مایکروسافت تصمیم میگیره که از اون به بعد توی نمایشگاه شرکت کنه ای تری هر سال یه سری اتفاقای باحال و جالب میفته یکی از این اتفاقا برمیگرده به سال 2004 که طرفدارای زلدا و نینتندو بعیده که اون سالو فراموش کنه بله شیگرو میاموتو که خالق زلدا و ماریو بعد از معرفی بازی The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess با لباس کراکتر اصلی این بازی اومد روی صحنه اوایل قرن 21 میلادی نسخه دوم از سه بازی بزرگ تو نمایشگاه ایتری معرفی شدن هیلو، هف لایف و کیلزون دونستن نقطه عطف اون دوران تو زمینه گیم پلی، گرافیک و حتی بخش چند نفره باشه خب یکی از بهترین سالا برای ای 2005 بود دلیل اصلش هم رونمایی از کنسول های نسل هفتامه سونی با پلیسیشن 3 مایکروسافت با اکس باکس 360 و نینتندو با کنسول وی تونستن یه رکورد هفتاد هزار نفری و سب خب امسال چون سونی تو ای حضور نداره ما خیلی بعید میدونیم این رکورد شکسته میشه گیب نیویل یکی دیگه از سحنه های موندگار رو تو ای تری تو سال 2010 تو کنفرانس سونی رقم زد دلیل حضور سپرایزی گیب اون سال معرفی پورتال دو بود که یکی از بهترین ساخته های ول جالبه بدونید ایشون یکی از منتقده های سرسخت کنسول است از سال 2010 به بعد بود که کم کم کمپانی های دیگه هم تصمیم گرفتن توی ای تری حضور داشته باشن شرکت های مثل الکترونیک آرتس، کونامی، یوبی سافت، اسکوئر اینکس و حتی به تستا جزب این شرکت ها بودن. خب خیلی ممکنه ای توی 2013 رو فراموش نکرده باشد. سالی که رقابت و جنگ بین مایکروسافت و سونی به اوج خودش رسیده بود. مایکروسافت با یه سری سیاست اشتباه میخواست که همه پلیرا رو آنلاین نگه داره و نذاره که بازی دست دو رو استفاده کنن. از اون طرف سونی با یه کنسول درجه یک و جدید ترکوند و خیلی رو شیفته خودش کرد. اسپانسر برنامه ما بشین با پیج اینستاگرام جویستیک تیوی شو و یا ایمیل اعلام شده داخل اون با ما در ارتباط بشین تا هفته بعد بلند